Hello everyone. In today's video, we would be discussing about the revision strategy for your CA final FR, the biggest paper for your CA final preparations for the new syllabus under the May 24 as well as the November 24 attempts. How do we ensure that we also prepare for the MCQs and also the integrated business solutions paper for the FR aspect? So, first of all, when we start with financial reporting, the first question is how much days and how many hours will it be take? So, I've given you three possible options. So, the shortest possible time frame where you can do justice to the syllabus and try to complete this is around 10 to 12 days. In my opinion, that is 120 hours. This will give you an exhaustive, not just an ABC, but a comprehensive time. Uh, I would strongly recommend you going with the middle one. So we have highlighted over here the time frame between 12 to 14 days that takes approximately 140 hours. I'm assuming that you study in your study leave approximately, uh, let us say 10 hours a day, let us say. However, if you are working, then you can try to manage your time accordingly. And then probably if you think financial reporting is not your strongest subject and you want to do it the, in the most peaceful and the efficient manner, then the last one around 14 to 16 days, that's close to 170 hours. Uh, try to kind of go with at least the middle plan and in the worst case, try to finish it within the uh, upper band. But I would strongly recommend you go with the middle plan. The first plan is if you are just out of time and you want to complete it or you've done financial reporting earlier and you want to do it now again after a gap. So that would be better. So I'll focus my discussion, let us say on the middle plan. Now, when I look at around, let's say on an average 12 to 14 days, what is the sequence that I should follow? How should I do MCQs and when should I do MCQs? So what we have tried to do is we have tried to split this course into around seven different aspects where we alternate between the indices and the bigger topics. So first we start with the asset based indices, which will include PP, intangibles, investment property, uh, impairment, etc. We have given all of them and except for leases. Leases we do right at the end after we do financial instruments because there is a good interlinkage between the lease liability working and the financial liability amortized cost working. So we'll probably do that later. So finish all the asset linked indices. Approximately 30 hours should be taken including the MCQs. So over here MCQs typically uh, we have also shared the MCQ PDF file where we have given the indicative times for each of the MCQ topics. But on an average if I look at all the MCQs I would strongly recommend you do the MCQs immediately after the chapter it will flow through smoothly and that is the best way to do it uh, approximately two and a half to three hours in total should be enough for the mcqs over here if you do it chapter wise religiously and del uh, and diligently after that i would recommend you go to the core topics where you look at share based payment and financial instruments also fair value measurement standard should be done over here this is a very important section considering financial instruments as well where we give a leisurely uh, 20 odd hours for the financial instruments preparation do that properly it forms a base of a lot of other topics after we have done with that it's a slightly draining out section where you do financial instruments then you go back again to the indices where you now focus on the liability and disclosure linked indices predominantly like your eps working which is immediately after financial instruments then provisions and contingencies employee benefits etc a lot of these form the base of the liability based working also, some presentation, easy, lighter standards like index 1, 10, 8, etc. can be done at this stage. And now you are again prepared to go to the next section, which is your business combination consolidation section, which we would prefer doing this along with things like even uh, foreign exchange, which have some impact of the earlier topics. So the fourth section. So after your uh, liability and disclosure linked indices, which we have mentioned, go to your uh, group accounting, business combination, consolidation, etc. Uh, topics, even the two indices that you do alongside this would be deferred taxes as well as foreign exchange, which have so deferred taxes, a lot of things in business combination, which come along with deferred taxes. And it is better that you do it at a later stage because a lot of things earlier. Uh, would be kind of applied in both the deferred tax foreign exchange standards. So this is the right stage to do this again. Before you go to the last stage, you again go back to a few indices. The remaining disclosure related indices like related parties, segment reporting, first time adoption, analysis of financial statements, etc. Just finish that in the next part. And then you go to the last two topics that is revenue and leases. Both of these are important. I know by this stage, whatever you take, whether you take leases, whether you take something else, this is a little draining out. You would want to move out of FR and go into something else. However, uh, you do almost certainly have 
topics from here you will i'm pretty sure get a weightage from mcqs as well as in your main questions especially for revenue also for leases so ensure that you don't compromise on this focus more on the numerical part it is a bigger standard but the numerical parts are more important and then lastly the two new theory topics which is technology and ethics sir we have kept it at the end yes because if you look at the questions in ethics as well as technology a lot of things which come from let us say revenue lease borrowing costs etc so it's best if you do it at the end uh, again you will get around five or eight marks of weightage from this section so do that properly so over here i've given you the total revision time excluding mcqs or including mcqs now a lot of students prefer that well we don't want to do that mcq thing right now we'll do it probably at a later date later is generally never but i would strongly recommend you do it but if you don't want to do it then excluding mcqs i've given the time frame as well typically on an average i would say the mcqs would take around 12 hours if you do it extensively and properly for the entire course that is approximately eight to ten percent of the course timing it will help you deepen and strengthen the concept so i would strongly recommend do it alongside and just forget about it sir will this mcq repeat will i get mcqs are not going to repeat you are in all likelihood going to get a fresh mcq but mcqs are based on your overall understanding again sir we want to do the ibs the case based paper so in our mcq booklet as well we have given you 30 big uh, case based applications if you have more time and incl inclination i don't think that it is separately required at this stage but if you want to do more case based preparation you can pick up the last four or five gfrs uh, or a few uh, gfrs exams and try to do the big cases of 2025 marks uh, that will give you a good perspective if possible we'll also share videos for the same but nevertheless you at least try to do the preparation if you want i would again repeat this is if you have more time and if you're the type of a person who needs more uh, kind of confidence behind you otherwise your main preparation is sufficient again while you are preparing for the ibs i would strongly recommend you try to mark things which are more important so try to have uh, probably post-its etc so where there are things like compound financial instruments or things where you think that there will be an open book reference where you feel that there's a problem like embedded derivatives you can just mark it off because when you're marking it you are trying to index it and mark it in a very logical way don't have too much of marking that you can't really pick up chapter wise marking in your notes etc whatever you think while you are preparing so that even your indexing etc is done efficiently try to do this along with your preparation as well so i'll be sharing this pdf file as well i've given a section over here where you can write your actual target days and hours again this is indicative you can always have a strategy which can be customized for your own best preparation try to do at least the first few topics try to have a uh, a goal that you want to finish it in these many hours see remember even items like pp if you do it in your most leisurely way it can take away 10 and 12 hours of your time you may be very satisfied but at what cost so ensure that you want to balance your time as well as your energy and resources ensure you have a full completion and track your progress there will be days where you might take some more hours if you think that that is because you wanted to understand the topic deeper so be it but if you're just whiling away time that gives you a very good base to kind of recover your time in the future days so ensure you have a planner a small hourly day by day uh, progress will really help you work better let me know if you have if you have any other feedback or if you want uh, if you have some comments or changes that you would like to suggest please put that in the comment box otherwise i hope this planner helps you for your fr preparation there is another video that is coming up soon for the afm preparation as well so please do like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications when we upload new videos thank you very much for all the love that you have shown and good luck for your preparations we will cross 70 this time okay chalo bye bye and see you soon